Hi guys and welcome back to another VGC 2019 Sun Series Pokemon Guide and in today's guide we're going to be looking at the almighty, all powerful, a bit underused Dawn Wings Necrozma. So it is the other form to Duskmane Necrozma. It is the Lunala variant of Necrozma. When those two merge together, they're going to create Dawn Wings Necrozma. So let's uh, get into it. As always, if you haven't checked out any of the other guides already that we've got on the Sun series, I'll link them in the top right hand corner over there. So click on that, I'll take you over to the other guides where we've covered things like Duskmane Necrozma, Kyogre, Groudon, Xerneas, Ivelto, the list goes on. There is a bunch of them over there. Most of the restricted Pokemon in this format have already been covered. So you can go and check them out and let me know what you think and hopefully you enjoy them. But today, as I say, we're going to be looking at Dawnwings Necrozma. And um, I wasn't necessarily going to look at this Pokemon, but because it, it's not really utilized too much in the format at the moment, and I wasn't going to cover the more underused Pokemon, but because you guys have requested these guides to be done, I hope you enjoy them and this was one of them that you guys have asked for. So please, as always, leave a like on the video and leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know what you think of this guide. So let's get into it. Does Dawn Wings Necrozma, not Dusk, Dusk Man. So we've got Dawn Wings Necrozma. It is going to be a psychic and ghost type. So like. Lunala. It has the ability like the other Necrozma forms of the Prism Armor. It is taking a third damage of uh, reduced damage from attacks um, uh, from a super effective attacks, not a third, sorry, um, a quarter less damage. Um, so it's, um, it, it's, it's a nice ability. It is able to take super effective attacks a bit easier, but it's not as strong as Lunala's Shadow Shield ability. Um, it has got a base stat total of 680, like a lot of the other restricted Pokemon in this format, with a distribution of 697 uh, HP, 113 attack, 109 defense, 157 special attack, 127 special defense, and 77 speed. You've got the type and weaknesses so from that psychic and ghost typing very exactly the same as Lunala it's got big weaknesses to ghost and dark types it is immune to normal and fighting which are really nice resistant to poison and psychic and then hit normally by everything else so like Lunala you can really identify what it's weak to what its immunities are and uh, play them into your kind of advantage from the uh, distribution stat side of things you can see it's got a huge special attack stat which is really nice and one of the selling points I think for the Dawn Wings Necrozma um, it's got really nice defenses as well like it's it's team mate the Dustman Necrozma in uh, 97 HP 109 defense and 127 special defense so very nice spread there and um, all in all not a bad Pokemon. I don't think it should be overlooked as much as it, it probably is, but there is good reason why I think Duskmane is probably a better variant, but I think Dawnwing still has some usage in this format and fills quite a nice niche in this format. So next thing we're gonna do, as always in these guides, is look at some sample sets. So the first sample set we're gonna take a look at on Dawnwing's Necrozma is the Psychic Seed set. So obviously holding the Psychic Seed, it's got a nature of um, quiet with zero attack, zero speed IVs, and it's really important that you make sure that you can acquire a zero attack IV Dawnwing's Necrozma it really is going to help out quite a lot, reduce the um, damage from foul plays and things like that. If you can see from the um, the attack base that the, it's got quite a high base attack of 113, so just reducing that down as much as you can is going to be massively helpful um, in why I would suggest if you can get a zero IV attack stat one if possible. If not, it's not going to matter too much because you're going to need quite a bit of support around Dawnwing's Necrozma anyway, so that support will be sufficient enough. It's just that extra little bit if you can get that zero IV attack stat. Um, and obviously the zero speed IV is quite important for trick room use as well. We've got an EV spread of 244 HP, four defense, 220 special attack and 36 special defense. Move set of protect trick room, photon geyser and moon geist beam. So um, what this EV spread does, it allows you to survive a plus two timid 252 special attack Xerneas Moonblast, which is pretty nice. Always a nice um, bar to kind of 
start us off with. It survives a knockoff from an opposing Incineroar as well. And that is your standard Incineroar. Um, it will probably take um, 252 Adamant knockoff as well because you are losing that that item at the start of the turn as long as you've got the psychic terrain up and that psychic seat does activate so weaken in the knockoff which is always very useful and it does survive a moon geist beam from a modest opposing lunala which is very good allowing you to hopefully get that trick room up as well if you're in a really tight position and you are going to have to take that attack it is one of the more powerful attacks that you need to be aware of and um, but you are able to take that and get the trick room up and then start performing how you want necrozma to perform in this situation um very nice set i think very standard um does what it says on the tin wants to set trick room up it's going to be very slow going to be able to underspeed the majority of other restricted pokemon in the format and be able to do that with that zero attack iv and minus speed nature and then start throwing out some big attacks from itself taking advantage of its psychic and its ghost typing as well both stab attacks and doing some good damage as well as having the defenses to kind of help it out in this situation with that psychic seed so oh the other thing as well with the psychic seed you're going to have the psychic terrain up and does help you and protect you from um some very threatening um priority attacks namely sucker punch being one of them so that was the other thing right next sample set we're going to look at is a weakness policy set so on the dust main necrozma you see so commonly used is the weakness policy on it because it can with that prism armor ability take super effective attacks a lot better and because of that the weakness policy makes sense you're going to be able to survive a lot of attacks and then get that ability boosted get your speed control set up and start doing some work with it so we've got an ev spread of 212 hp 12 defense 4 special attack 252 special defense and 28 speed so this is a bit of a strange set and one i think is a bit quirky a little bit different but one that i think could potentially throw your opponents off and make work we've got a calm nature again going for that ideal zero attack iv if possible um protect Autonomize is going to be the second move, so doubling your speed so that it's like a self tailwind almost on yourself. So it's like agility, um, it doubles your speed once you've used it. And if you can use it in conjunction with that weakness policy activating, it is going to be very powerful. And um, again, going for Photon Geyser and Moon Geyser Beam as the, the, the attacking options here, giving you both stab coverages and uh, if you do get plus two in both of those um, stats you're going to be able to do some lot like a lot of work especially if you get the speed boost as well so um, it does survive a, a moongeist beam from an opposing timid lunala which is very nice and it kills in return with a plus two Moongeist beam through shadow shield so it's very nice and it can do a lot of work and it is one of those things your opponent will probably expect you to try and set a trick room up hit you with maybe um, uh, I don't know, a ghost type attack or something like that or a very weak dog type attack and uh, hopefully you can take that, get the weakness policy boost, get the speed boost and then start dishing out a lot of damage and uh, it, it's one of those where it's uh, it's uh, very good probably in a best of one situation, maybe not in a best of three but a very kind of meme unique kind of set to have a look at and uh, I did think the autonomize is uh, going to be a move that was worth mentioning here because it does, it does give Dawnwing's Necrozma a little bit more um, to operate with and with that 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 speed investment as well we've got on the EVs it does allow you to outspeed the likes of Tapu Koko after the um, after the, the the plus two boost there as well so you're going to be outspeeding most things after you get that autonomized off as well so that is that weakness policy set explained now we're going to move on to the next sample set and it's going to be the electric seed set another very good item on dawn wings and across my eye feel we've went for a modest nature here zero attack iv again is the the target there um with an ev spread of 220 hp 228 defense 92 special attack 36 special defense and 132 speed so what does this do we've got protect i put calm mind on this set as well to complement that electric seed so when the electric seed activates you get a defensive boost 
um, which is very nice. You've also got Tapu Koko there alongside you that deals with one of the biggest threats, I believe, outside of Lunala to Dolan Wings Necrozma, and that is Ivaltal. Tapu Koko puts on a lot of pressure against Ivaltal, outspeeds it and threatens it with those electric type attacks, so very complementary to each other here. Combined as well, going to act really nicely, complement the electric seed boost. You've got the defensive seed boost already, and then you can start bolstering and boosting up your special defenses special attack as well so photon geyser earth power heat wave are nice options here for coverage in that second slot and then i always go with the moon geist beam because it is just very consistent very reliable and very powerful like a plus one moon geist beam uh chaos at 252 dusk main necrozma it's a very good check to dusk main necrozma dusk main necrozma can do very little in return unless it is carrying something like knockoff and it's not something to underestimate as well you've got to expect maybe that sometimes so if it does carry that you've got to be a little bit wary of it but even then with the electric seed boost you're going to be able to take a lot of those dark type attacks you're going to be able to take all the the dark type threats from Ivelto from Incineroar pretty easily with that defensive boost in this EV spread so giving yourself a bit of room to get those combine boosts up as well and the speeds that allows you to outspeed all max speed base 100s after plus one as well which is pretty nice so if you've got icy wind support electro web support there and um, you're going to be able to outspeed all of them after that drop on the opposing side of the field and um, this set really would benefit from um speed control support icy wind like i've said electro web is an option tailwind another option and um, all good options to give this storm wings and some room to um to operate as well as it wants to with the defensive boosts getting behind it and then maybe a special attack boost as well it's going to start doing a lot of damage um heal pulse is something to think about maybe next to it so maybe something like tapu lele tapu coco good options to have there or tapu coco and then clefairy or something like that are good options to have with the friend god boost with clefairy could be could work very nice especially with heal pulse once you've started boosting up as well so nice options there and uh, and uh, one of my more favorite sets i think on the dawn wings necrozma variant as well so Next sample set we're going to take a look at is this Spooky Plate set. Spooky Plate seems to be quite a common item on Dawnwings Necrozma in particular. Again, looking at um, a modest nature to boost that huge special attack stat. You've got 204 speed, 252 special attack and 52 HP. A very standard kind of um, selection of EVs on there. It does allow you to outspeed Ludicolo in the rain, uh, out of the rain, sorry. So if you've got weather control on your side of the field, you'll be able to outspeed that. We've got Protect, Trick Room, Photon Geyser, and Moon Geyser Beam. You can go for all sorts though. If you don't want to go Trick Room there, you've got things like Heat Wave. You've got um, all of the other options that we've looked at. Even Calm Mind could work maybe on this set as well. Um, so lots of options, but these are the kind of standard moves that you're seeing uh, used at the minute on Dawn Wings and Necrozma with that spooky play. It's not one of my preferred um, item choices here, but it does give you a 20% boost on the um, on the ghost type attacks that you're using, which will be Moon Guys Beams. So I'll just powering that up, and uh, this set just maximising the damage from that attack. Um, Dawn Wings and Necrozma can throw out at your opponents. So partnering Pokemon to Dawn Wings Necrozma. The first one we're going to look at is going to be Tapu Koko again, a lot like. The, the other restricted Pokemon that utilize the Psychic Seed in their sample sets, you're gonna need Tapu Koko to activate um, the, the seed with its electric terrain, and it's got that electric surge ability to bring the electric terrain to the field, it's electric fairy typing, and like we've already mentioned, it covers one of um, Dawnwing Necrozma's biggest threats, and that's gonna be Eveltal. Tapu Koko are gonna be able to threaten that very well, outspeeding it and death uh, threatening a big KO on it pretty quickly. Um, just allowing Dawnwings and Cosmo a bit more room to operate and get set up and uh, do the things you want it to be able to do in battle. It's a fast pivot, it's always like we always mentioned with Tapu Koko with the ability to U-turn, helps you dictate weather, um, dictate board position, shuffle intimidate, all those nice things that you want Tapu Koko to do and why it's so good as, um, as, a, as a choice in this format and uh, like we've already mentioned the electric type threat helps check Ivelto. Big Necrozma check. So 
Tapu Koko very nice. Next partner in Pokemon I'm going to look at is Tapu Lele. Again, we need it for that uh, Psychic Seed activation more than anything. Um, boosts its Psychic type attacks as well. You're going to remember that Dawnwing's Necrozma is part Psychic as well as Ghost. So those Psychic type attacks will be boosted. Photon guys are getting boosted there. Um, it does protect against priority attacks. The Taunt support from Tapu Lele is so strong and really helpful as well against Dawnwing. Dawnwing's Necrozma and uh, there is good offensive pressure versus dark types with Tapu Lele especially with the Moonblast against things like uh, Eveltal namely as well being one of the bigger ones there so very nice partner as well and something you may want to consider if you're running Dawnwing's Necrozma especially that Psychic Seed set. Another partner that's going to be very good and another popular Pokemon that we see all the time in this format is going to be Incineroar. Intimidate support going to be very good to help um, support against those predominantly dark type attacks that will be coming out and threatening Dawnwings and Crosma um, with Incineroar's fire and dark typing as well. Very complementary um, offensively and defensively against dark and ghost type threats that really do. They're the big weaknesses for Dawn Wings Necrozma like Lunala so Incineroar very complementary to those and offensively as well very good at dealing with those threats uh, for the most part. Intimidate support like we've mentioned is going to bolster those defenses a bit more and then fake out support which is really really strong with Dawn Wings Necrozma to help it get set up maybe get a trick room set up maybe get a calm mind or autonomize set up as well all very good options for it to utilize and uh, Incineroar going to be a very good Pokemon to help you do that as well as having that slow U-turn that will allow you to to dictate your board position a bit like Tapu Koko but make sure that if you if you want to get something in non-damage then you've got the option to do that with Incineroar from the other side of the spectrum other partnering Pokemon gonna be our little friend Smeagol the sketch artist so Smeagol the ability moody it has got access to technician and known tempo if you want to go maybe down a trick room route I wouldn't probably use moody in those situations but for the most part moody is going to be um the chosen ability here boosting random stats each turn and lowering one each turn as well um can really change a game in some situations it's going to be normal typing and uh, has fake out support to help set up again a bit like how incineral supports uh dawn wings necrozma uh to follow me is going to be really strong because the normal typing is immune to ghost type attacks if that's your opponent's only way to get rid of Dawnwings and Aprosima, a bit like Lunala. Uh, you can just follow me, those Ghost Type Attacks, and Smiggle's going to take no damage from them whatsoever. And also at the same time, even though it will take damage from Dark Type threats, it's, it's always good to support uh, your restricted Pokemon because that is kind of the centerpiece of the team. You're going to be using that to really kind of cut through and execute your, your strategies more than any other kind of. Pokemon in your team or you should be anyway and then you've got wide guard support as well which does protect Dawnwings Necrozma from big spread damage attacks like Precipice Blades, Water Spouts, um, all, all of those attacks so that's a nice option as well on Smeagol. So next Pokemon we're going to look at is another dog type Pokemon it's going to be Tyranitar not one that we see too commonly used and uh, mentioned in these guides but Tyranitar is pretty good in this format and I think it does perform a really nice role if in the right team of course it's got the sandstorm ability bringing sandstorm to the to the field when it is brought onto the battlefield it has got the typing dark and rock and uh, all in all just excellent defensive synergy between the pairing um, the ghost and the dark weaknesses of dawn wings necrozma are things that tyranitar can switch into all day long like literally all day long tyranitar weak to fighting type attacks Dawn Wings Necrozma can switch into those. So the, the synergy there is really nice. You've got the weather control as well with Tyranitar. So weather wars, if they are a thing, you've got an extra weather there that you can maybe utilize if you've got another restricted Pokemon in your team like like Kyogre or, or Groudon. Um, it, that extra weather there can really help benefit you and uh, both can operate so well under a Trick Room environment if that is the way that you want to go with Dawn Wings Necrozma. So very nice partnering together both of these Pokemon very strong together and, and uh, I, I think this is something I would try and, and utilize if I was to go forward with Dawnwings and across my myself um, and then we're going to move on that is all the partnering Pokemon examples and then we're just going to round off this guide with the threats and counters table so dog types we've already mentioned going to be a big old problem for Dawnwings and across me you're going to need some really good support against these Pokemon Tyranitar, Incineroar, Eveltal are going to be 
be the big two that you're going to need coverage against. And then Persians, another one that we've tagged in there. But any dog type is going to really threaten Necrozma pretty, pretty hard. If you come up against like Tapakoko and Persian, it's going to be a combination that's really difficult for either Dawnwings, Necrozma or Lunala to deal with because you can break the Shadow Shield ability, you can chip Dawnwings, Necrozma and then finish it off with the Persian with like a foul play or um, any other dog type attack that it's got access to pretty much because of the, the heavy weakness that you've got there. So you're going to need some counters and checks and support around these, these Pokemon. Ghost types as well are going to threaten you super hard. You've got Drift Blim. It has been used a little bit already in this format. It's going to be something that you need to be aware of. With that Unburden ability, it's going to be able to outspeed you and throw out big Shadow Balls onto you and do some big damage. Gengar is another one that's going to be able to outspeed and, and hit you pretty hard. Lunala, we've already mentioned, another big threat to you. With that Shadow Shield ability, you're going to be able to take for the majority of the time any attack that you throw onto it and it's going to outspeed you. So without speed control, you're going to be in a bit of trouble if you come up against Lunala and it is a one-on-one -on -one situation. Aegislav is another Pokemon that we haven't seen used too much yet this year in this format but I think as the format goes on it'll probably start creeping a bit more in it's got access to things like Wide Guard it's going to operate really well under Trick Room it will under speed Dawnwings Necrozma Dusk Min Necrozma as well under that Trick Room and be able to do a lot of damage um, because it'll be able to take the, 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 the attacks from you and you may not be able to take the attacks from it and then Giratina is another ghost type that will uh, cause you all sorts of problems especially if you don't want to be taking a shadow force from from this thing that will be able to outspeed you unfortunately um, and if you do get a trick room up while it goes for that shadow force attack it's going to disappear and then the next turn it's going to be the slowest thing potentially and then it's going to be able to pick up a clean KO so without support against that um, you're going to be in a lot of trouble um, walls and checks to Dawnwings and Necrozma are a bit like identical to what what walls, Lunala, things like Mandibus, not going to take any damage from the attacks that are thrown out from it. It resists um, the dog type attack, um, uh, the ghost type attack, sorry, and it is going to be immune to the psychic type stab that you've got there. Same with Weavile, same with Muck. Um, Snorlax is going to be a bulky Pokemon, just generally able to take the psychic type attacks pretty easily and immune to the ghost type attacks. Same goes with Porygon, too, as well, can reverse the trick room and do all sorts of shenanigans against you so just things that you need to be a little bit aware of if you are playing this pokemon as well as lunala as well so they kind of both fit into the same boat in in, in this kind of table but um that rounds up the guide today guys so uh, that is Dawnwings Necrozma I do like this Pokemon a lot but um, and I think it's probably one that needs a little bit more exploring I do feel like it can perform a, a decent enough role in this format as well so um if you have tried it already and you, you do like it and uh, you do feel like it's got a, a place in this format, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this Pokemon. And uh, for the rest of you, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this guide in general. So do leave your comments down below. I will make sure to get back to you all as soon as I can. And um, that will round it up. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Do leave a like and uh, hopefully we'll be back with another one of these guides very soon. So until then, thank you so much for sticking with us till the end. Take care of yourselves and until next time. Bye-bye!